Okay, welcome back to my Tomli tutorials online. Today I will teach you the application of the first order differential equation. If you have do a lot of differential equation, integration and derivation, and you want to know how to apply the equation to the real world. So today we are looking at the Newton's laws of cooling. And here you can see this is my name and my email address YouTube channel as well. You can go there and learn more about the other thing. Now we are looking at the Newton's laws of cooling. What is the Newton's laws of cooling? It's the rate at which a body cool down is proportional to the difference between the temperatures of the object and that of the surrounding environments. If you've got a hot pot of coffee of 80 degrees Celsius and place this in a room and the room temperature is about 25 degrees Celsius. And you want to know the rate of these hotspots cooling down to some degrees. And we have to apply the Newton's laws of cooling to this. And the Newton's laws of cooling is a differential equation. And you have to solve the differential equation in order to get the cooling rate of these hotspots in a particular time. Okay. Let's see the Newton's laws cooling. dt by dt. This the capital T is the temperature, and the small t is the time, usually in second. It's proportional to the TO. TO is the temperature of the object. In this case, it's the temperature of the hotspot minus the temperatures of the environment. In this case, 25 degrees Celsius. And TOs in this case, in our examples, is 80 degrees Celsius. So it's, um, the rate of change is proportional. It's directly proportional to the rate, to the temperature difference between the hot object and the room temperature. And you got the differential equation is dt by dt equal to k TO minus T EN. In k, in here, k is a constant, just a constant, it's just a number. So this is the equation, the differential equation, and you integrate this equation to get the general solution. And this is the general solution. General solution is the hotspot object, the temperature of the hotspot object equal to the environment plus C e to the power kt. And in here, the k and the c is also its content. E is the natural exponential to the powers of kt. This is the general equation. So we will get to the examples in the next section. Okay, now let's do an example of the Newton laws of cooling. Let's see, the example one is that a pot of 80 degrees Celsius is placed in the rooms of temperatures, surrounding temperatures 20 degrees Celsius. And one minute later, that means 60 seconds later, the spot temperature is dropped to 70 degrees Celsius. And the question is that how much more time will it take until the hotspot temperature is dropped to 50 degrees Celsius? So the solution is that when we have um, the Newton laws of cooling is dt is the big T by dt by the time is equal to k t minus t of the environment. Okay, and then we take the t's over there, we got dt over t minus tm equal to k by dt. Okay, and then we take the integration of both sides. In the left hand side, we got something like log t minus tm equal to kt. Because it's a k is a constant, so we integrate the k is we got the small t here, the type. So uh, in both type we take the exponentials of e and we got e to the power kt. Okay, we got this. Okay, and then we cancel this out. We got the equation like t minus tm equal to e to the power kt. Okay, then uh, doing this. To, Take the minus tm over there. We got this one is per c, so this per c should be a 
at the top in here, let's see. Okay, so we got the t is equal to the e to the power kt times e to the power c. This also is a constant minus tm. Okay, so in here we got all the equation and then got the equation like t equal to e to the power c multiplied by e to the power kt minus tm is t of the environment and we got t equal to this one is a constant right so we got a constant this one should be plus right so we got tm plus c e to the power kt okay and now we left the problem is that we have to solve what is the values of c Okay, and then what is the values of k? Initial condition, and we substitute the initial condition into here, we got the value of c and t. This should be a specific solution. This one is a general solution, and then we got the initial values uh, to find out what is c and what is k. We got specific solution of that. So now we have t equal to tm plus c e to the power kt. This, this Tm is the environment temperature, and this T here is the temperatures of the objects. Okay, and this uh, T is T is the time. Now we have to uh, plug in the initial condition to get the values of C and K. The initial condition is that uh, when the time is zero, when the time is zero, okay, and then the T of the objects. We call it T0, the T of the objects is 80 degrees Celsius, and the T of the environment, Tm, is 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, and then we plug into this equation here, we got 80 here, we got 80 equal to 20, this one should be 20, right? Plus C to the power K, and this T is 0. So e to the powers of 0 is uh, 1, right? e to the power of 0 is 1, so it's for c. So we got 80 equal to 20 plus c. And then we got c is equal to 60. Okay, good. We got c equal to 60. We plug in c equal to 60 into this equation here. Okay, so t equal to tm plus 60 to the powers of kt okay now we have to find the values of the k's as well so we put in another uh, initial condition when the time is equal to 60 seconds just one minute later here we got one minute later here so it's 60 seconds we could we put a one into t here so we got 60 um in one minute later the temperature of the object is dropped to 70 degrees so we got 70 equal to 20 the room temperature is the same we assume this one is the same right so plus 60 e to the power k in here we are using this here we using minutes so with one minute you can use the uh, units of seconds is 60 seconds uh, units of minutes so i take it is one so e to the power k so 60 e to the power k is equal to 50 and then e to the power k is equal to 50 over 60 that means 5 over 6 so we take logs of both sides we got log e to the power k equal to natural logs 5 over 6 okay so we have to guess what is the e to the power log and then we cancel this out we got the equation is k equal to log 5 to the over 6 so we're using the calculator and, and get the logs of 5 over 6 we got the k equal to minus 0 0.1823 uh, I take four decimal numbers, so I got this one. Okay, and then I plug the k into this, the general equation. I plug the 
value of C and K into the general solution, I get the Pacific solution is equal to T equal to Tm plus C is 60. Okay, and then E to the power KT, what is the powers of K? What's the value of K? The K is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1823, right? So I got it here is this one is minus 0 0.1823 to the power t. Uh, this is the solution of the first order differential equation. Okay, now we come back to the, um, uh, the question. Okay, we come back to the question. The question is how much time, more time will it take until the spot temperatures drop to 50? So when the temperature drop to 50, so we put now the temperature now is 50 and we have to find what is the values of T. We then calculate the times when the temperature drop to 50 degrees Celsius. We plug this value into the equation and we got 50 is the 50 degrees equal to 20 plus 60 e to the powers minus 1823 small t. And we have 60 e to the power minus 0 0.1823 t equal to 30. Divide by 60 in both sides, we got e to the power 0 0.1823 t of equal to 0 0.5. And take log in both sides, we got the natural log of e to the power minus 0 0.1823 t equal to natural logs of 0.5. This cancel out and we got minus 10.1823 t equal to log 0.5. Then we divide by minus 0.1823 we got t equal to log 0.5 over minus 0.1 H23. The actual values of this is equal to minus 0 0.6931 over minus 0 0.1823 is equal to 3.8. 318 is the 3.8 minutes. But you can see the question is, is how much more time it will take the hot objects drop from 70 degrees to 50 degrees Celsius. So it's from the beginning of the hot object 80 degrees Celsius to now 50 degrees Celsius. But the question is asked about how much more, uh, more time that's been the answer of the T of more time is equal to the 3.80 minutes minus the one minute from the beginning, we got 2.8 minutes. This is the answer. We have to wait 2.8 minutes more in order to get the hot pot from 70 degrees drop to 50 degrees. Okay, after this, I have also got many calculus tutorial for you guys. So finally, if you are of the first year student of university and you got a lot of problem in calculus, some of the students may think mathematics is a very, very difficult subject. But if you want to learn more about calculus 1 or calculus 2, just WhatsApp me or using the Google Hangouts to connect with me. And I will schedule a suitable online course for you to teach you how to do the mathematics and how to get a better score in your mathematics examination. So don't hesitate to WhatsApp me or hang out with me in order to get a better score in your mathematics examination. Thank you. Bye bye.